The question is the House to now adjourn. I give the call to the honourable member for Dawson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we are in a labour-created cost of living crisis, and that's about to get worse. One of the most important and enjoyable things you can do is to have fish and chips on the beach or in a park with a partner, your family or friends. However, this simple pleasure is going to be taken away from us because federal and state Labor governments have decided to persecute our fishermen. In June, in June a joint media release from federal and Queensland Labor have said they are going to ban gillnet fishing. No consultation, no consultation with the community, no consultation with our fishermen. And the short time frames. This is going to happen by the end of this year. And then we'll see at least 90 licensed fishermen with significantly reduced incomes or being wiped out totally. It's simply not right. What we're talking about here is people's lives, fishermen and fisherwomen's lives, fish and chip shops and fishmongers. We're taking away or this cruel federal Labor government is taking away the rights of these fishermen to earn a living. Now, I, I was talking to one of these fishermen, and he happened to have a daughter who's in grade 12, a straight A student who wants to go to university to become a doctor, a GP, and we certainly need more of those in rural and regional Australia. And now, with a stroke of a pen from Canberra, this dream is being taken away. Absolutely disgraceful. And Mr Speaker, what about the effect on the Chandlery, on the communities and the Chandleries? So the Chandleries, as we know, the fishermen operate in a tough environment, out in the sun and out in the salt. So they need a lot of shackles, ropes, floats, anchors, all those sort of things. But without this, the Chandlery shop is going to go out of business. And the ice producers. So what happens is when a fisherman cats a fish, he bleeds it, puts it on the ice, and that way keeps it nice and fresh so we can enjoy eating the fish. He's going to go out of business. The boat builders, the repairers, two, they're all going to go out of business. The outboard, sales and service, going out of business. And what does this mean for the average Australians when you take 2,000 tonnes of fresh wild-caught fish out of the equation? What it means? Simple supply and demand. When you take the supply out, the price will go up. So then we'll be relying on more imported fish. So rather than having fish that we are in our pristine waters, no, we'll be importing lesser quality fish and prices will be skyrocketing. But I'm not taking this lying down, Mr Speaker. I've written to Minister Tanya Plebersek. Surprise, surprise, I haven't received a reply. So now I'm calling on Minister Plebersek, to come to my electorate, do some community consultation, talk to the fishermen, have the discussion, see how the fishermen fish, see how they fish. Make sure you check. You should come up too, sir. See how they fish. They actually have to sit on the nets, follow the nets, make sure that they're looked after. And this absolute rubbish about looking after the Great Barrier Reef, these nets don't go within 60 kilometres of the Great Barrier Reef. Just another labour lie. And a big message for all the wreck fishing, fishermen out there. I'm a wreck fisherman myself. I love the recreational fish with my family and friends. We have an absolute ball. When this cruel Labor government punishes and persecutes all the professional fishermen, we'll be next. They'll be coming up for us. The wild caught fishing industry in Queensland deserves to be protected and deserves to be supported. The wild caught fishing industry is sustainable and the fishery is in good condition. The wild caught fi fishing industry is operated by a quota system that has been developed by science. The wild caught fishing industry is heavily regulated. They have to check in at night. They have to have their logbooks. The wild caught fishing industry is heavily monitored via GPS. The wild caught fishing industry is run by professional men and women and has been done for so many generations. Australia, we must stand up and support our professional fishermen and women. Do not let this cruel Albanese Labor government destroy our primary industries.
authorised by Andrew Wilcox, LMP Mackay.